As we mentioned, Vladislav Gavrikov, now an L.A. King, and nice enough to join us right now on NHL Tonight. Vladislav, uh, congratulations on uh, Game 1 with your new team last night. Uh, what was that like? I know this is your first time being traded in the National Hockey League. What's the whole process been like for you? Uh, first of all, thank you guys for inviting me. Yeah, that was kind of like, um, that's been crazy 24 hours for me and my family, obviously. But yeah, I'm glad we made it and already... Um, played the first game, so the, I was so pumped and excited uh, to see the locker room, the guys and crowd. So that was that was awesome. Guys was very good. Uh, that was a so warm welcome for me and Corpy. So we we glad we here. Yeah, how how great is it to be traded? I guess uh, with one of your good friends in Columbus, and then how were the you know uh, I guess week to ten days when you were sitting out games, uh, having the trade protection uh, for for yourself. Well, that was that was tough to like, um, you know, practicing. But now, the, especially if you know you are healthy and you are able to play, and just sitting like that, that's that's that was kind of weird to be honest. It's never happened in my life before, so that was a kind kind of challenge for me. But yeah, it's like not much you can do about it, you know. And you have to practice it every day and just be in a good shape, and uh, we'll be ready for anything. Vlad, it must been it must have been difficult for you. It was difficult for me. I ended my career with in the Kings system, and and I always found throughout my whole career, whether it was uh, whatever neutral zone you played, a one two two on one one three, it was easy to understand. And I think you picked it up. I had a tough time figuring out the terminology in LA, and I know they play a different style. What's it been like for you getting acclimated to the way Todd McCullen plays and and the terminology they use? And and for a left defenseman, a lot of stepping up things that you're not used to doing. Are you noticing that that was a difference right away? Uh, well, yeah, I was noticed about it, but like I've tried to be focusing all the time, even on a on a practice and like on the morning skate because it's uh, like completely different what what uh, what I played before. But it's like it shouldn't be a problem anyway to figure this out. Like it's all about the details and uh, how you how you can react on a game. So it's gotta be okay. Uh, getting traded, I'm sure, is, uh, you know, brings in different emotions, having spent your entire career in Columbus. But when you find out you're going from a team that's, you know, towards the bottom of the National Hockey League standings to one of the top teams out west, what was your reaction when you found out you were heading to L.A.? Well, um, that, that was excited for sure. Like, uh, it's a huge opportunity for me. Uh, I'm hungry to the win, so it's, like, uh, definitely, definitely a good move. Uh, but yeah, anyway, it's got to be so excited to play in the playoffs and uh, be in the spot we are in right now. I know they got they got some heat, uh, some really good skilled forwards, a lots of speed. Uh, how is like if you've had a practice already with them? How is it? Uh, how has it been so far? Kind of get adjusted to all the new faces and friends there. Well, that's nice. Yeah, that's you, you say right. It's such a talented group of people, and uh, yeah, it's off the ice as well. Like the guys. Such, such a great like individuals um, as a human so it's like they they help me a lot they help Corpy a lot like the trainer so all the staff organization they're being so nice with us as soon as we touch the touch the line in LA so that's like uh that's huge even even for my family up the eyes they take care of that and uh yeah I'm just just glad and happy and, and what's it been like for you, Vlad, going against Drew Doughty for years now and, and going to see a guy that's that's a Hall of Famer and now you're playing on the same team as him? Do you find that it's pretty neat to to not line up next to him, not necessarily be his partner, but to see him up close on the same team and see how see how he works and, and what he's so good at? Has, have you been impressed by that? Yeah, he's a legend, no doubt. Uh, and I'm so glad I'm playing with him right now, not against him because obviously he's a... Uh, He's a great player with a ton, ton of skills, even like some other guys. But yeah, especially Drew, he's a he's a leader even in the locker room and uh, on the ice. So it's like it's great to have a teammate like that. I know you've mentioned uh, family a couple of times and how the LA Kings have been, you know, very uh, welcoming uh, in that aspect. What, what is that like? Because, you know, oftentimes viewers will see, oh, a trade, and they just think you pick up your gym bag and you jump on a plane and you, you're just playing in a different sweater. But you guys are humans. You have families. Uh, how tough is that to balance between, you know, doing your job, yet making sure that, you know, spouses and kids and schools and all that stuff is taken care of as well? Yeah, that's exactly because it's uh, like trades like that during the season never happened in my life. I didn't know exactly what what I should expect, but uh, they, as I said, like they made it so easy for me. Like any any like detail or question that that was like uh, 
so easy to uh, just pick it up the phone or te- text a message to someone they figure this out right away for us so that that that's great because like you don't have to even worry about what's going on off the ice and try to be focused more uh, on a game and on the ice so it's like it's huge and like we said, you played your uh, very first game last night with the LA Kings taking on Montreal in a victory for you guys. Um, any nerves in that game as, you know, I mean, look, you're a professional athlete. You played a lot of games in the National Hockey League, but does that feel like your very first NHL game again, just in a different sweater? <laughs> not, not really. It just was more excited because I didn't play for a while. I was out for two weeks, so uh, I knew it's like not going to be perfect anyway but um after first shift like i i felt pretty good how about comfort level with the new team and i know hicks was talking about systems and stuff like that we heard from patrick kane following his debut with the rangers last night saying you know i want a couple of practices to to really feel comfortable with my new team how many games do you think it will take for you to fully get into a rhythm with your new team Mm, it's so hard to say right now, but like uh, about the details, like uh, um, as a as a tactics, it probably will take a while. But I I don't worry about it at all because it's gonna be okay in a few games. It's always mistake make happens. It's not gonna be a problem. It's all about the effort. The guys tried so hard. Like every game, it's a hundred percent effort. So it's like that. That's huge. It, especially the last night, the couple seconds. Uh, before the end of the game, they co- a cop term and a great block shot. It's all about it. So uh, the guys like playing hundred percent. Well, that's awesome. Congratulations on your first win. We wish you uh, nothing but the best going forward, and appreciate taking a few minutes of your day to talk to us. Thank you so much, you guys.